So Jeff, um, can we just talk about floods and compare the 1893, 1974 and the most recent ones in Brisbane? Yeah, uh, we live on a, in Brisbane here we live on the floodplains, uh, unfortunately, and uh, lots of Brisbane gets flooded periodically and uh, when you look at the data it's quite regular. Uh, the 1893 events is outstanding because it holds Australia's rainfall record of uh, 907 millimetres in 24 hours at yeah, the, back wow. of the, the back of the Sunshine Coast. Yeah. So that flood was characterised by enormous uh, wall of water coming down the uh, Stanley River. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, Apparently when it came down the Stanley River, it was such a large volume of water, it, it, it split when it hit the Brisbane River, part of it went down the Brisbane River and the other half went up upstream in the Brisbane River. Upstream? Just eventually came back. <laughs> but uh, and. It presented itself as a big wall of water right down through the Brisbane Valley, past places like Esk and Tagulawa, mm -hmm. and uh, and then when it hit Brisbane, it just washed away the Indooroopilly Railway Bridge, the uh, Victoria Bridge, yeah, wow. and uh, many many houses uh, were floating down the, the river. Yeah. Unfortunately, it caused a big a lot of loss of life, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess uh, it was just so much bigger than the floods. Mm -hmm. In the in the 20th century, the mm. height was about three meters, uh, four meters higher than the uh, recent 2011 Four flight. meters higher. Well, yeah. What were the most recent again? Uh, four point six, and that was about eight point three in yeah, 1993. Wow. And uh, so it was a very very big flood. The uh, they're all different. The uh, 1974 flood was characterized by a big Brisbane River flood, of course, yeah. but also by very savage. Brisbane Creek floods, Breakfast Creek, Kettering Brook, Oxley Creek, uh, and the Ipswich Creeks. Mm -hmm. Particularly the Ipswich Creeks, Breakfast Creek and Kettering Brook uh, were very deadly. They caused loss of life and yeah. severe damage to houses which got washed down. Yeah. Mainly because they are very responsive to rain. There was very heavy rain in Brisbane. Yeah. Uh, things like almost 100 millimetres an hour and that uh, wow. the creeks almost uh, respond straight away, yeah. uh, so you really can't warn for them, yeah. and yeah. so that was uh, disastrous as far as Brisbane mm -hmm. was concerned, and later on then we got the floods, yeah. but they're uh, a lot more sedate as they come down as you realise, mm. and so that was the 74 floods, the 2011 floods were, uh, we had Wyvernay then, so we thought we were safe, but there's, <laughs> but there was a couple of days where just enormous amount of rain went into yeah. Wyvno, so that, it was the dams were full. Yeah. And then of course we had the, uh, the Lockyer River flood, where a big storm complex developed over Esk and moved into the uh, catchment around uh, between Toowoomba and the uh, uh, Crow's Nest area. And that, that all just funneled into the uh, those creeks that come down into Grantham and those places. Yeah. And they were, the ground there was saturated because they had an enormous amount of rain in yeah. uh, uh, November, December, January. Yeah. And uh, so, so Lockyer Creek was a big contributor to the, uh, uh, the Brisbane floods. At that stage, they weren't terribly concerned about a big flood in Brisbane. Mm -hmm. But the next morning, that's the morning of the 11th, uh, from 6 a.m. in the morning to about 3 p.m. Uh, in the evening, this enormous line of thunderstorms developed from um, Maroochydore through Redcliffe across the back where I live at Sanford and yeah. then across to uh, Grantchester and Ipswich and just sat there till four o'clock in the afternoon and there's rainfall rates of uh, I don't know, 100 millimetres an hour wow. and that's when the story changed. I don't know if yeah. you recall on the Wednesday they were going for uh, uh, you know just floods to yeah. 74 type floods mm. so that was just enormous volume of water yeah. uh, which fed into the Bremer uh, added to the uh, Lockyer Creek water coming down yeah. and of course they had to release uh, the uh, water out of Wide Lake, yes. Yeah. So, so it was a different, wasn't it? Because uh, we had the added uh, complexity of what you do at Wide Lake. Yeah. Do you uh, yeah. keep it half empty at the start of the season or what? You know, yeah. which I'm still arguing about, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And the thing about 1893 then was uh, two weeks later they had one just as big. There was one good point out of that. There was this big ship uh, washed onto the gardens at uh, the Brisbane City Gardens down here. And uh, the next flood dragged it off. And <laughs> took it back. <laughs> <laughs> so one good thing came out of it, but uh, uh, many the many lives were lost. But there's one in the yard, I suppose, that's got yeah. a slight degree of humour. There was just nothing to do between the two weeks in Brisbane uh, uh, between the two floods, and, and yeah. so was, Brisbane was characterised by drunken men walking around the, <laughs> around the city who had nothing else to do. <laughs>
So uh, I suppose that's meant we still behave the same way, don't we? <laughs>